Carry Close Cottages was a pair of semi-detached cottages, built by Edward Mizzen in 1894 as part of the Elm Nursery. It was renumbered as numbers 39 and 41 Feltham Road. The following was reported in the Mitcham News and Mercury, 18th of June 1971. With 3,700 people waiting for council houses, Merton Council have been accused of wasting the accommodation they do have. Residents in Feltham Road, Mitcham renewed their complaints this week about number 39. They say the two semi-detached cottages could house two families, but instead they lie empty and are fast becoming a regular meeting place for the area's vandals. Boards nailed across the windows have been torn aside and the glass smashed. The upstairs windows have become targets for stones and air rifles, and inside doors hang from their hinges, and plaster has been hacked from the walls. But despite this, the roof appears sound, and, say the residents, the cottages could soon be made habitable again. Mr. William Adams, a retired baker, remembers them before they were taken over by the council. They were beautifully kept, and the gardens were a picture to look at. But since there have been council tenants living there, it has gone down and down. Mr. Adams' complaint was not against council tenants in general, but more against the housing department, who used it as a halfway house. They used it as emergency accommodation for people they could not give permanent accommodation. As a result, families stayed there for only two or three weeks before getting proper council houses. These short-term tenancies meant the cottages often remained empty for weeks at a time. Last summer, they were left for six weeks, and the vandals moved in. 68-year-old Mrs Daphne Adams said, It was terrible. We could see them smashing the windows and playing about inside, and when we told them to go away, they threatened us. More than once, we had our own windows broken. So the council nailed the boards across the windows. Then, in February this year, they offered the house to 26-year-old mother of two, Mrs. Marie Stewart. The tenancy was to be a permanent one, and Mrs. Stewart was thrilled. She had been living in halfway houses for nine months, but when she saw the cottage, she refused point-blank to move into it. Broken bottles and rotting rubbish were piled against the front door. Inside, there was no heating or running hot water. Light leads stretched to the floor, and the outside lavatory was nailed up. She went straight back to the housing department and, with communist candidate Miss Jean Geldart, told them just what she thought of it. It's a slum, a tramp's dos place. Since then, she has been found somewhere to live, but the incident moved the council to declare the property unfit to live in and, in effect, leave it to the vandals. And the vandals have been quick to take up the invitation. Mr Adams said, They are always about the place, larking about and lighting fires. Even the little children from St. Mark's Primary School go in there now. And late at night I've seen young lads take their girls in. He complained to his new Labour councillor, Mrs. Vera Bonner, and she has taken it up with the housing department. But until she has a reply, she will not bring it up in the council chamber. However, the housing department know all about number 39 Feltham Road. Indeed, it has been a thorn in their side for some time. The housing manager, Mr. A. Brown, has two choices. Do it up or knock it down. He realises it cannot be left as it is. But until he knows what the town planning department propose for the land, he cannot do anything, and it is understood the planners have not been quick in making up their minds. The surrounding land has lain waste since the allotment scheme there was abandoned and the site is ripe for development. The allotments referred to in the newspaper article stretched from the Elm Nursery car park on London Road to St Mark's Road opposite Baker Lane. In the late 1970s, early 1980s, the Cary cottages were demolished and this site was developed into a housing estate, which included a new road, Bedfont Close. It's not known why the road was called this, but the town of Feltham in Middlesex is next to a town called Bedfont. <laughs>